driving in the Mustang limo with the doc himself, Christopher Ingracia of Mustang Restoration. I have the pleasure of driving in the actual limo. And I'm now plastered in the back of my seat. Oh, he's got some pickup. See if we can catch somebody doing a thumbs up as we drive by. And because of its small wheelbase, of course, it, you know, it doesn't have the same characteristics of a regular Mustang where you got to kind of constantly over steer it. You just kind of point the thing and it goes. Right, right. Like a banana. <laughs> it's incredible. Very comfortable. What a beautiful Chicago afternoon. Yeah, it's nice day out there. Yeah, let's see what kind of reactions we get now when we stop at a light. Now that I got the camera on, It's not, uh, it's not like it turned out to be like a rattly thing. No, or, not at all. It's very quiet. Rickety thing, and it really, really came together well. How long did this take you to do? year and a half, two years in between customer work. Right. You know, it's customer work obviously always takes precedence. So for the longest time I was pushing this thing in and out of the garage every day to make room to work on customer cars and then at night we pushed this thing back in because it didn't have an engine. So how was your uh, how was your wife with the car? She's like, are you ever going to get rid of that car? Or well, did she, she want to see it done? At one point, when I was pushing it in and out, I thought to myself, I'm never going to get this thing done, man. <laughs> I mean, look at all I got to do. Why don't I just sell what I have or just cut it up and use the parts I made it? But I was persistent, stuck with it, and uh, I'm glad I did. Oh, it looks fantastic. We've had nothing but fun with this thing. All right, let's see. We'll get some looks now.